Right, this is how I've made my automatic watering system work for the last few years. Used to make them out of aluminium, these valves, but after a time I found it was easier to use the little plastic uh, water timers. And this is how it works. When the water dries out of there, this swings back and operates the valve in the watering system. Right, I think you can see on this how the valve works. I just pivot a piece of aluminium, put a little piece coming out from there to operate that. the valve I'll show you later. And as that goes over, it switches the valve on. And that's all there is to it. And there's another one here in the blueberry patch. It's in a drum to stop the wind from swinging the balance arm over. Right, this is the sort of valve I use. It's just a little water timer, a, a clockwork one. This one, the clockwork mo clockwork's gone wrong. So, first of all, I'll just take it to pieces and show you how simple they are. There's a few different designs of these, so you just have to modify them accordingly. The little valve that gets operated by the tipping mechanism. In here there's a little latch. On some of them there's a latch at either side. In this case it's just got a latch here. swinging arm has to depress that there. So you can leave that on, it gives you a bigger area to operate on when you make the aluminium tube up. When that empties, this swings back over there and switches on the mist at what I'm getting wet. Water then comes from the, the pipe that feeds the misters up here, this is a little screw valve that I can al alter the flow. So, if I want it to take longer, I just shorten, just uh, make the flow less. That fills the tank up, siphons out of here, and switches the water off. 